Hey everyone, today we're just going to be doing a quick little unboxing and overview of this model kit here. This is a soft vinyl kit, it's not a plastic model kit, and it is of the O, as you can see. It was designed by Wave and released in 1990, and I'm going to go into a little bit about soft vinyl kits and, and what they are and all of that stuff, but first I just wanted to show the front of the box with the artwork because it's incredible. I'm going to do an overhead view for the unboxing, but there's a little bit of glare from my ring light, so I just wanted you guys to be able to see this box art in all of its glory because it's just a gorgeous painting. You can see down there in the bottom left by Yoshiyuki Takani. Just gorgeous, gorgeous artwork. And um, yeah, so I'll get into the unboxing and we can just talk a little bit about soft vinyl kits, what they are, how you can get them, how you can work on them, and... Yeah, let's just jump right into it. Okay, so getting right into it, just opening up the box here. And you'll see you have all of these different runners. And a loose bag of parts. And this kit's really quite old, unfortunately. There was a little bit of damage on the manual. You can see it's a really basic black and white manual here, going into some of the instructions. And you've got some piping, which is really nice. These are metal parts, they're springs, some poly caps. And you've got some decals or stickers right here, which look quite nice, but I probably, probably won't use them. And then you've just got this little mailing card, which also has some damage on it, unfortunately. And then some extra little pieces here. So like I said, this kit is a soft vinyl kit. It's not a plastic model kit. And so you've got these pieces here, which you can see they're kind of squishy. It's like what it says, it's soft vinyl, right? So it's plastic, but it's not as hard as polystyrene. And the way that you actually build this is by cutting away all of the flash with a knife. I believe they have some instructions in here. So you can take like a scissor to cut off large areas, and then you take your hobby knife to cut off some of the more detailed areas. And then what you actually do is you kind of snap fit slash glue everything together. So some of it can be snap fit, some of it can be glued on. You put it all together. Obviously you have to paint it up because it's all one color and then you've got yourself a really nice model kit. So I'm not an expert on these. This is my first one but um, Henry McClellan and I'll, I'll link to his soft vinyl uh, video in, in the description. He did a really great video on soft vinyl kits and as far as I know it's the best one on YouTube that's in English and he goes into a little bit of how soft vinyl kits they have some pros and cons regarding how they can be sculpted versus plastic model kits and I think you can just get detail in a different in a different way and in different places than you can with a polystyrene kit um, so it's kind of like my understanding is that it's like a little halfway between a resin kit and a plastic model kit. Um, obviously, it's a lot more work than a plastic model kit, but hopefully the reward, all the extra detail will be worth it. So, so you can see here, this is an armor part. And I can show you guys on the box. It's this front armor piece for the leg. And all of this, all of this extra is just flash that needs to be removed. So there's going to be quite a bit of cutting that has to go into this. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to do a follow-up when I paint this up. I'm definitely going to kind of paint it up. This is a kit I'm definitely going to build. It's high priority for me. But that's the gist of it. So there are some downsides. So one thing I noticed with this kit being vintage is you have some pieces like this. And you can see from holding it up here, there's quite a bit of warping happening on this. You can kind of see here how the pieces are bent in. Now I think when I cut it all out, 
it shouldn't be much of an issue. However, there might be some other warping similar to what's going on here on pieces where it might cause an issue. So in those cases, what I've heard you can actually do is heat up the parts either with a hairdryer or with some boiling water, kind of try and reshape them and then assemble them and then that should help you. But I've also heard that when the pieces cool down, they'll go back to this original warped shape. So I need to look into if there's a way to change the shape if it has been warped and have it stay in, um, in the way that you reshaped it. I'm not sure how to do that yet, but I'll, I'll cross that bridge when it comes. So yeah, just lots, lots of really cool detailed parts. Just really neat stuff. And um, yeah, it's going to be tricky to paint. It's going to definitely require a lot of masking, but I'm really, really excited. And I think, I wonder if I can maybe go through the manual if they show, I know. Yeah, so they show how you can kind of assemble it. And what's interesting about this kit is it is supposed to be fully posable with the poly caps and everything. Or not, I don't know how fully posable, but somewhat posable. We'll see once it's all built um, using the poly caps. But you can see here how you kind of make, you know, the core pieces, arms, legs, head, and then you kind of just snap it all together. Yeah, really interesting stuff. I think this piece in particular, this fin, was one of the pieces where I was concerned about warping, so. We'll see how it goes. Let me see if I can actually dig that out real quick. You know what? That piece is actually plastic, so there shouldn't be as much of an issue there. So I think that was kind of a smart move on their part to do some of those more delicate, intricate pieces in plastic. Yeah, so that's about it. Um, like I said, it's nice. comes with these metal parts comes with this beautiful inspiring box art and um yeah it's by wave which is really interesting to me to see you know official licensed um Gundam model kits made by another company I guess it was just really different back in the day in the 90s and um yeah that's pretty much it so thanks for watching I'm gonna try and use this channel going forward. I know if you guys are followers of this channel or my other channel, Pixelli, I'm going to try to use this channel to do simple unboxings, maybe snap kit reviews, and then what I'm going to do is put some of my more scripted, edited videos on the other channel regarding Gumpla. So if you guys are interested in some of those more scripted videos and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my other channel. It's called uh, Pixelli. There's a link in the description and there's also a link at the bottom of this page I have an other my other channel section you can just click on that and subscribe from there and that channel is like all kinds of otaku stuff so there's retro gaming stuff um, anime stuff manga stuff um, as well as gunpla other model kits and things like that so yeah that's pretty much it don't want to keep this video too long but thanks so much for watching and uh, yeah if you could give this video a thumbs up that would be awesome and I uh, appreciate you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye.